YouTube, what's going on? So I got a good video for you guys today. I'm actually excited for this one. Um, we're taking a look today at the Etsy Azula 2. A phenomenal, phenomenal fixed blade um, from Etsy. I'm really, really liking this one. This is on loan uh, to me from Big J's Knives. Um, he loaned this knife for me to review. And it is a phenomenal, phenomenal small EDC fixed blade. Before I get into that, just real quick, I just want to uh, thank everybody again for watching our lives. We do a live every Saturday night at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And thank you guys for everyone that joins that live. Um, I just want to throw that out there. We're going to actually be having a guest on this upcoming Saturday. It's going to be uh, the Saw Grunt. So we're really, really looking forward to that. Um, again, the Saw Grunt's going to be on this Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. And we're really looking forward to that one. He's a great guy with a great channel. And uh, yeah, that's one that I'm looking forward to. So just wanted to throw that out there. So let's jump into this uh, real quick. Like I said, this is on uh, loan from me to me from uh, Big J's Knives. If you guys don't know Big J's Knives, go over and subscribe to him. He has a great channel, great content, great knives, great guy as well. Um, guys, I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about this. This this fixed blade right here, this is a is just a, a the perfect, perfect EDC. Um, so long story short, I was looking for a, a small fixed blade EDC and um, I got one from uh, Cold Steel. Um, this is a small fixed blade. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, anyways, it's a, it's a good knife. Um, I don't want to talk to my, I can't remember the name of it, but this one here that Big J sent me, this is phenomenal. Exactly what I was looking for in a, a EDC fixed blade. So again, guys, this is put out by Etsy, and uh, this is this is the Azula Two. Um, they have the regular Azula, which just has a, uh, it's a smaller handle. I think that's the only major difference. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, so this is, uh, this is the way that Big J has it set up. Um, and I'm just loving this thing. The, uh, sheath here has great retention on it. Um, look at this, guys. Look at that handle. That handle fits perfect, um, right in your hand. And just for a small fixed blade, I think that they actually call this a neck knife too. You could even use it right around your neck. Um, and it's it would work perfect that way too. But uh, yeah, just, just the perfect size. Great, great retention on this sheath. Um, that sheath isn't going anywhere. Easy to get out um, and right in there. It actually has a quick release. If I'm not going to do it here because I'll knock everything over. But if you push this with your thumb... It it actually flies right off. It'll it'll pop right off. Let's get into it. Let's get into some specs. Uh, the overall length on this is six point seven five inches. The blade length is two point six three inches. Thickness is point one five six. Um, and this is ten ninety five high carbon steel. That's why they they put a coating on here. Um, I'm not too big on the coating that they put on here. Um, but you can get this without the coating as well. And I also believe they have this in S35 VN now. So you could even go that route. If you go on their website, on Amazon, you know, wherever you go to buy your knives, you'll see a bunch of different, uh, options that you can, you can buy this. As I said, I'm not too big on the coating. You can see right there, Etsy Knives USA, Azula 2, Rowan, and then it has... Six eight seven nine seven, right there on the blade. But yeah, I mean, um, if I was to purchase this, I would go with uh, just the, you know, just the steel without a coating on it. But it's not even, you know, even with it, it's not a uh, deal breaker for me. I'm just loving this knife so much. Um, but yeah, so the blade on this, like I said, um, is two point six three inches, and uh, the steel is ten ninety five. High carbon. Um, the weight on this is 3.2 ounces. The finish is textured powder coat uh, or, bla or black oxide. You have a flat grind on this. Just trying to get you guys all the specs here. 
It's a molded sheath and clip plate for this here. This actually, you get another piece with this. Uh, Big J didn't send it to me, but if you look online, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the pommel is a cabin air hole, as you can see here. Handle is canvas micata, and it's made in the USA. So let's go over, uh, first of all, let's go over the, uh, the length. Just to compare this to some knives for you real quick, I don't have any fixed blades to compare it to, but I'm going to bring some knives in that everybody knows, um, or a lot of people know. So here's the uh, Benchmade bug out. So smaller than the Benchmade bug out, um, but if you're familiar with a bug out, that'll give you an example. A knife that a lot of people do have is the Ontario Rat 2. Um, this is just, you know, a knife a lot of, this is actually a great knife for the money. Um, but if you want to compare it to the Ontario Rat 2, you're looking almost about the same size. Almost about the same size, a little bit smaller. Um, than the rat too, but not by much. And then of course me being a buck guy, I had to bring out a buck 110 and the buck 110 just dwarfs it. Um, as you're going to see here right now. So yeah, as you can see the buck 110 dwarfs it. Uh, if you go on blade length, you can see that, um, well, the cutting edge doesn't start to here. So you can see that it's a lot smaller. This is a, uh, longer blade than the azula 2 but i'm just trying to give you guys an example of um some knives next to the uh azula so that's that um but yeah i'm just guys i'm loving this i am abs absolutely loving this knife big j sent this over to me and i'm i told them already i'm gonna grab one the handle feels so good in your hand with that micata um and just that grip you get on you get a great purchase on this knife guys I mean, a great purchase. You can you can really, you can do some work with this. I've seen some videos of people even doing some batoning with this. You know, I wouldn't recommend batoning down a home. <laughs> you know, you're not going to take down a house. But you could do some light batoning with this. Feather stick in, um, you know, make, you know, whatever, you, whatever um, your EDC task would be. This is going to be a knife that I'm going to take to work with me. Um, and this is going to go right into my pocket. So when I have this set up. I'll have the lanyard on it. I'll probably have the lanyard a little bit smaller. Um, and uh, yeah, this will just go right into my 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 uh, front right part, my my pocket there, and psh, I'm good to go. You know, I'm I'm used to carrying a um, just a folder, but I've been wanting to carry a fixed blade for a uh, for a little while now. Um, and this is gonna this is definitely gonna be the one that I go with. Just really loving it. Thank you, Big J, for sending this my way. Again, guys, if you don't know a Big J's Knives, go over and subscribe to his channel. He has some great, great content. Really great content. He's a great guy as well. We do the lives together, like I said, on Saturday night. Um, yeah, so just a quick look, guys, at the Azula 2 from Etsy. Uh, this is going to be my next purchase. And um, I'm just looking forward to, uh, to carrying this because uh, this is exactly... I mean, guys, it's just the right size. It really is. It's just the right size for a uh, fixed blade EDC for me. For, for you know, for me, I'm a truck driver. I go to work. I labor. And this, like I said, this will go right into my front pocket, no problem. And um, just the perfect size. So again, guys, uh, just real quick. That's one. You know, the overall length, like I said, is 6.75 inches. Blade length of 2.63. So just under three inches on that blade. Uh, you get thickness of 1.56 carbon steel. The weight is only 3.2 ounces. That's another great thing. It's not a heavy, heavy knife at all. So you're just not going to be, you know, in your pocket, you know, lugging you down. 3.2 ounces is nothing. Um, and then you have that uh, that textured powder coat and that flat grind right there. So, you know, you can uh, you can get some work done with this, guys. I'm loving, like I said, I love the uh, the sheath. That retention is just great. Um, that's not going anywhere. And uh, yeah, just a really, really good one from Etsy. If you guys are looking for a small EDC fixed blade, I would definitely recommend this. Highly, highly recommend this. As I said, uh, this is on loan, but this is going to be my next purchase.
just a just a gray knife and you can also take these sorry you can also take these uh these handles the handles off of here um you know and uh you could um i believe you could switch out handles um you may have to look that up but i believe you can even switch out handles on this with different handles or you could have it skeletonized and wrap paracord around it um that's something that i'm going to look into on that uh on about taking these off when i get mine and um you know see if you can switch the the handles and Maybe I'll even just throw a paracord around it. Whatever. We'll see. It's, you know, it's your knife. You do what you want to it. But I like that they have that option that you can do that. So one last look, guys, at the uh, Etsy Azula 2. Give you guys a close-up here. Very nice, very nice micata. Nice blade. You got some jimping up here, which I love that. Just a great fixed blade, guys. EDC fixed blade. I'm not going to hold you too long. Just wanted to give you guys a quick view of that. Again, guys, uh, thank you for everyone that joins our live on Saturday night. I really do appreciate you. Um, we'll be doing another one this Saturday with Saw Grunt. That's going to uh, be a good one. We're really looking forward to that. So one last time, guys, Big J's Knives. He sent this to review. Go over and check out his channel. He has great content. All right, guys, that's going to do it. That's the uh, Etsy Azula 2. Don't forget, please hit that like button if you like this. It helps with the algorithm of YouTube. Uh, comment. I love seeing your comments and responding. And uh, please do subscribe, guys. I have uh, a lot more content coming out. All right. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.